Hi guys. So I'm hopping on here because I am on a trip with my mom. If you don't know, I'm my mom's full-time caregiver. And we drove down here to Stanford to do some medical stuff. And while we were on our trip, we uh, were listening to the tape um, of the book, The Four Agreements, and it sparked, um, it sparked some stuff for me. And so I just wanted to hop on here and talk about it because I felt like it was some really good stuff. Um, and so if you're on or you hop on, say hi. If you end up watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, my mom found this heart and it signifies self-love. And I feel like it's such a good topic being that it's the month of February. Um, but um, if you've never heard about The Four Agreements, um, it's a really good book. And if you don't know my backstory, I've struggled with um, substance abuse and mental health and all the things, right? All the things. And so, um, The Four Agreements is is a really good book um, for that um, and it struck me and, and I just kind of wanted to hop on here and talk about how it applies to me and how I want to um, practice applying it some more because I feel like especially right now I struggle and I, um, I feel like um, I feel like it couldn't have been a better time for me to rehear that book. Um, you know, I in life there are times when there are times when I can hear something and it can just go in one ear and out the other, and then there are times when it can stop me in my tracks. And so, if you've never heard it, then I'm just kind of I'm gonna kind of just like. Um, go through like what they are and some of the points um, so the first one is be impeccable uh, with your word um, and so for me sorry guys I'm shaking because I get it's it's like a really vulnerable topic because for me like what happens is that I've practiced being um, speaking with integrity like to other people like I can be I've learned how to be honest to other people. I've learned how to show up and say what I mean and be honest to other people. But what happens is that I struggle with being honest with myself. So I, ca I, I can't be honest with myself here in this camera. Like I see myself and it's like not, it's like not a clear image. You know what I mean? So like all that negative self-talk that goes on all that negative self-talk that happens in the camera is like clouded and so that's part of being impeccable with my word um and so learning how to practice that is super important because i want to be a healthy human being all around and so if i can do that for other people i should be able to do it for myself um and so i felt like that struck me to my core um and so saying what I mean and meaning what I say to myself was kind of one of those things for me that I felt like, man, like struck me, you know. And um, another thing was I have notes. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Um, um, is it necessary? So again, this is this is like a double sided this is like a double-sided mirror. So not only to other people, but to myself, like is what I'm saying necessary? Do, is what I'm about to say necessary? Do, do the words that I'm about to say out of my mouth doesn't need to be said? Like it doesn't matter what it is, is, is it necessary? Um, is it true? And a lot of the times I have to filter it a hundred times, especially to myself. I have to filter things 
a hundred times to myself to figure out if what I'm about to say is true. And one of the things that I thought about, and this might be a little bit vulnerable for the camera, but when I first got clean this last time, I believed every every single thing that came out of my mouth. And so I've really had to practice like figuring out what the truth is, you know? And so learning to filter that and then figuring out, is it really true? Um, and then is it helpful? Is what I'm about to say helpful? And really knowing if what I'm about to say is helpful to me and to the other person. And so that goes, that goes to um, being impeccable to our word, you know, and, and practicing that because I want to be a healthy human being all around and I want to be a better mom and I want to be um, a better daughter and I want to be a better person all around, you know, and practicing that. Um, the second agreement is don't take anything personally. And what came up for me here is um, uh, imagine living a judgment-free life. And that is all around, like, I struggle the most with the judgments that I have of myself. And that, so what came up for me for that was, like, I look at myself in this camera and I worry about the judgments that I have of myself. And if I'm judging myself, then, then I'm, then other people must be judging me. Right. And so the book talks about a couple of key points. Nothing that others do is because of you. And I feel like that is such a valuable piece of information because I'm always thinking that other people are doing things because of me, like the world does not revolve around me. Right. But I always think it does and um, it's such a hard judgment to like it's it's such a hard agreement to figure out um, what others do and say is a projection of their own reality and their own dream we all come from different walks of life and we have different backgrounds and um, I think that that is another thing for me that I that I have a hard time like figuring out and understanding when it comes to like the judgment piece and not taking anything personally like what somebody else is going through or what somebody else might say has absolutely nothing to do with me it has something to do with them and even if it does have something to do with them like let it go and if I want to be free of like the bondage of something like being able to detach myself from that piece of it um uh, when you are immune to the opinions and actions of others you won't be the victim of uh, needless suffering um, when you're attached to the when you're attached to other people's judgments you're attached to the bondage that comes with it and I feel like that just goes along with what I just said and so I just, when I, when we were listening to this book on the way down here, I felt like it struck me to the core because I've been struggling with this stuff within myself and within what I see when I look at myself. And, um, all of these things are things that I have heard in the past. And, um, when they go in one ear and out the other, and then I hear them again at another point, I'm like, oh, how, how have I not, how, how has that not stuck with me? in the past and so now I've been hearing it again and I just felt like it was such valuable information and how can I not how can I not latch on to this and take it and try to stick with it and do something with it from here forward um the third one is probably the one that I struggle with the most don't make assumptions because I'm automatically assuming things. So I see something come across the screen and you don't, so like I see a text message or I see a word or I see a phrase come across the screen and you don't punctuate it correctly or you don't respond in, in the correct time frame or um, something along that, along that. Um, and I automatically assume that you're mad or um, something along those lines. And that's one way that I'm making assumptions, right? So, 
Um, we received a piece of mail the other day and I asked somebody for an address and they didn't want to give it to me and I automatically assumed it was because they didn't want us to know where they lived, right? That was me just making assumptions and that creates wreckage and damage in relationships and, and all kinds of things and that creates um, that creates dysfunction and um, and turmoil within myself that I don't need. And so... Again, just I was so grateful to hear this to hear this book because it it brought up things for me that I hadn't thought about in a really long time. Um, so some of the points for this were find courage to ask questions and express what you really want. And I know that for me, I oftentimes will keep my mouth shut because I am afraid or I'm embarrassed that my opinions or my questions or my feelings or my whatever aren't valid or aren't important enough and that's not true like we all or I or we all have a voice and it's meant to be spoken for a reason and um yeah like so important um communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding sadness and drama and I think that um for me like that was a big thing in my last relationship and I didn't know how to communicate clearly and I still sometimes I have this relationship with um, a couple that I share my son with that I've chosen to share my son with and I'm learning how to communicate and I'm learning how to do those things with but oftentimes when I can't find the words and I can't figure out how to communicate it causes drama and it causes um, it causes problems and it, and it doesn't need to, if I could just figure out how to communicate in the right way. And if I could show up a little bit differently, there wouldn't be problems like there are, or either on either side, right? Like miscommunication can cause problems that, and I've, and I, and I have lived a life where I didn't, I haven't always known how to communicate clearly. Like I ran away from my feelings for a really, really long time. Like I, buried myself in a lot of different avenues and so communicating has not always been my cup of tea um so that one is a is a big one for me um and then this one can be completely this one can completely transform our life and i and i and i'm with that i think that it can i think that it has proven that it can transform my relationships. I've seen it transform the relationships that I have with my family. And I watched it transform relationships that I've had with jobs. And so I see that being true. And then the last one is always do your best. And I was telling my mom that um, if the best I can do for one day is to just not get loaded, then that's the best that I can do. And that may be a little bit vulnerable for this page, but that's my back history, you know? And um, sometimes I struggle and sometimes I don't know which path to choose. And sometimes I, um, and sometimes I struggle as a mom and sometimes I yell at my son and sometimes I don't, want to get out of bed and sometimes I have those um challenging times but I always try to do my best and it's it's probably the easiest of the four um your best is going to change from moment to moment and it will change from when you're sick to when you're well um under any circumstance do your best and you can avoid self-judgment uh self-abuse and self-regret and I just feel like those are very strong valid points and um I just wanted to get on here and share these because they struck me and um I am grateful to be on this journey and I'm grateful to be learning about myself and to be walking through some of these um fears and some of these things and um yeah man like um just grateful so that's what I wanted to share today and thanks for listening guys